Hello everyone, it's System, and this is Astroblog. Hope everyone is well, having a busy day. I myself, I'm having a task one, so let's get back to this pack here. Just gonna push forward. I mean, it's been about, what, two and a half weeks since we played this pack? I kind of got into Glacial, and then, yeah, I didn't really focus on this pack very much. I know a lot of people have been asking about it, but uh, I do intend to finish it, so we're gonna kind of push forward here. Uh, in between episodes, I have not done much. I did make my next rocket, which I really don't want to go out there too much right now. Is it nighttime? Yeah, it is. Um, it is over here. We'll go look at it real quick. It is a pretty cool looking rocket. Like that thing actually looks nifty. Actually starting to look like something I wouldn't mind riding to space on, which is kind of cool. And uh, also I found this, the flying saddle pet. It's kind of funny because I can ride mobs, right? And I can also make them fly, but uh, it's weird. I'm going to take one inside here. Go in there. Boom. And I think like he goes passive after you use it. Like he doesn't even care about me anymore. <laughs> it like totally messes up the mobs. But uh, you can fly with them with this thing, which I thought was funny. Although I am banging my head off the uh, ceiling and kind of hurting myself. But yeah, he just doesn't hurt me anymore. He actually becomes friendly. So I thought that was kind of strange. Because uh, as long as I have diamond and nuggets, I can make any mob pretty much passive. I guess I'd have to name tag him if I wanted to keep him around. But uh, I just thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, I found that pet. And I found this pet too. This one's pretty cool and I've been using it. It's called the Chicken Pet. Um, speed Boost. And it uh, gives items. It's been giving me eggs randomly. Um, but you have to put it in your inventory, you need seeds, so that's not a big deal. But it gives you speed 4. The problem is, is look at that FOV. It just zooms in so much that uh, I only really want to use it in a limited amount. Because I don't really like changing my FOV very much uh, in the options. So, yeah, the FOV on that thing is silly. But when I need to get somewhere fast, it's uh, not too bad. Especially since we don't have a jetpack that actually moves us kind of forward quickly. It's uh, nice to have something to kind of speed us up. So what I'm going to do is uh, probably go ahead and get into the quest line here. We're going to go ahead and probably just push forward. I know we have to go to a new planet here. It's going to be Diona. We have to do this one for some materials I, we need, I think, for Dark Banner. So we're going to go to that planet, probably fight a boss. Then we're going to have to go to uh, Saturn as well, because I believe there's a metal there we need. Magnesium for our next rocket, for our next thermal padding. And I haven't really looked at what else yet, but then we'll kind of push forward and kind of work towards these other planets. I'll probably only be doing these side planets with a key above them, because it means there's a boss on them. So I'll be doing like uh, Chalos, Nibiru, and then down here it's just kind of hop to the end of the game, which is pretty cool. And I guess the other thing I'm kind of planning to do, I guess in this playthrough, I'll just kind of mention because I haven't played it for a while. We're still going to do Dark Matter. We're still going to do, where is it here? There's another quest line I wanted to work on. Can't remember here. Uh, this one here. I'm going to end up doing the power setup with the gravitational anomalies at some point. And I think there was a set of armor I wanted to do as well. Yeah, the power armor. We'll probably do the power armor as well. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get everything we need. Get ready to fly to the next planet there, which I believe is Diona. And then we'll kind of actually progress. So let's, let's get to it. And okay, our rocket's all charged up. We're good to go. We're just going to... Straight up, go ahead and just take off here and uh, probably head to the planet there. I said it was Diona, so we're going to head to that one first. I didn't show that either, I think, in the last episode when I did play this a couple weeks ago. That satellite dish doesn't do anything. <laughs> it doesn't do anything at all as far as I understand. It's just aesthetic. They had plans to do stuff with it and didn't, but I just put it down because it's just like a single block that just transforms in that thing. It just looks pretty nifty. So anyway, we'll fly up here. We'll kind of go into space and then, yeah, we'll get on to our new planet here. Uh, Diona, I think, is a different one. It's a little strange, so we will be going to that one. we got a little bit of exploring to do on that one. I think we're going to go to some of the first um, Dark Matter bits that we need to on that planet, so that is pretty cool. Also, like now that we got the higher rockets, that actually puts the bar on the far left side there, showing you where you are, which is uh, kind of nice, but uh, where's Diona? Is it like a one of these ones that's far off? Is it this one over here? Maybe it's here. I can't remember where Diona is. Is that it? Yeah, Dionys. Uh, we have to go to that one. So let's go ahead and head to this one here. There we go. We'll hit launch on that puppy and then see what kind of landing we're going to get because uh, they seem all different. We've got a new quest there. That is awesome. We just got uh, one of the normal landers, I guess, which isn't too big a deal. Need to let us drop a little bit before I hit the space bar. Just get that Y level down a little bit. There we go. And uh, maybe... Maybe let it go a little more. <laughs> you land so so slowly. So this planet, it is uh, pretty gray. It is uh, gray for the most part. But uh, I believe there is special stuff here. And I actually already see some of it. So that is kind of cool. But uh, we'll kind of do our landing here. I don't know if I brought a tank, actually. Did I bring a tank? I can't remember. I guess we'll have to check here. But anyway, let's go ahead and get out of this view. Because that rocket likes to always change our view. Kind of forgot about that. We got um, 
planet? Is that a planet over there or another sun? Got a couple planets around here. Definitely a red sun. That's a little weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Do I actually have a tank in here? I can't remember. If I was a tank, I would be here. There we go. Got a portable tank right there. Go ahead and uh, use the rocket. Empty it out, hopefully, just like that. There we go. We got our fuel. Now, we need to do a little bit of exploring. I know there's a boss fight on this map. And uh, this place is pretty plain, actually. It looks a lot like the moon, doesn't it? And uh, we're not seeing any mobs. I know there's weird mobs on this planet as well. So I'm kind of interested in seeing some of them. Maybe it's daytime now, I guess, with that. <laughs> that would make sense. But you're going to see random things on this planet. It's going to be a little strange here. Got these uh, blocks of glowing iron, which I don't even know if we need. Let's go and grab that. It was an advancement, so maybe we do need it. Go to use there, there. Black hole storage, so it's used in that and pretty much that alone, eh? Not really much else, it doesn't look like. So I don't know how much that we need. Let's go to the actual mod here. Head into dark matter. Go to use. No, not use, uh, recipe on this stuff. So that one you gotta, you must, I'm not sure how you get this stuff to be honest, but I do want to do it. Just not sure exactly what we need. I thought we needed some of this dark iron for this stuff. Maybe not. <laughs> not looking like it. So yeah, we, we don't really need the dark uh, iron, I guess. I also need to turn off auto jump. Uh, I had it on there for something. I can't remember what. I went on one of the planets that was really rocky. That's what it was. I went on to one of the moons. And um, yeah, it was just needed for that particular moon. But I do not need auto jump on now. Down here, we've got these little crashed alien probes too. And you get a nice amount of loot of them. Lots of these plates which will help later on, especially at the, I guess, the last rocket. You have to basically make two of the previous rockets, and uh, it's free stuff. And I also believe we can find some of those alien parts in those as well. So I'm going to be looking around for those. They're probably around quite a lot. Yeah, I see one there. I see one there. And they're just, yeah, just uh, random uh, little crates full of goodness. <laughs> I mean, you'll be able to get uh, a lot of your future rocket parts just from this planet alone because, I mean, this is several stages of the uh, of the components right so this is i think is the third level right that's tier three so you're already up to like tier three components we're on tier five just kind of cuts down a lot of your crafting just by running around and grabbing this stuff so i'm gonna probably run around and grab this for a bit until i one run into a dungeon because uh, we're going to end up fighting a boss Plus, I know there's one other thing we kind of see on this planet. And okay, I was running around looking for a dungeon. Then the kind of needles started pointing down in the ground. I guess not down, but it was spinning in circles, right? So I decided to dig down. I thought maybe one of the uh, dungeons spawned incorrectly. And then I found this weird mine shaft. and actually gave me advancement here. Crystal mine shaft. So I got that, which is really weird. But anyway, we got that. Then I found this here, and there's some weird seeds in here. I don't even know what they're about, so that's strange. Like, everything's strange here right now. I just don't know what's going on. Infected wood. Like, I don't even know what these planks and stuff are for. I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> I have no idea. I was not planning on this at all. I did run into a weird mob as well, so I thought that was real strange. Is there any actual use for this thing? It doesn't seem like it has a independent use at all so i probably won't bring it with me i just thought i'd show it real quick because i don't know if there's anything else down here it's just uh yeah just uh, i'm a little lost <laughs> i have the clue man I'm not seeing any more of the mobs either the mobs were a little strange they were like purple oh wait what's this what is this liquid crystallized lava do we actually need any of that for anything let's go to crystal and lava i'm not seeing it man lava yeah crystallized lava check that out no, nothing. Can't even be used for regular lava power because it's not ore deck properly. But anyway, oh, also these too. I ran a couple of these. What is it? Uh, Abedius worm rock egg. When you break them, they actually get, yeah, these little worm guys. <laughs> I don't know what that's about at all whatsoever. But uh, just weird stuff, man. Really strange stuff. You also found um, centurinium shards, but it doesn't look like we need those at all either. We can make plates, but I didn't see a use for the plates, so... Again, probably just uh, going to chuck that. And then, yeah, just gonna push forward here. I'm gonna keep looking around for a little bit, see if I actually find anything with this. If not, I'll just gonna push forward on the planet and uh, we'll just kinda go and do what I was planning on. Actually, what's this? Oh, it's a stalemite ore. Nope, anyway, I'll just keep pushing forward. And okay, I've been running around this planet for a little bit and I found this kind of floating in the air. It kind of confused me here. I don't know what it's about. It says it's made of like alien ship decoration blocks. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's like an alien ship here. 
It has this Defender Beacon, which I don't know what's about at all, because, like, nothing's happened with it. I thought maybe mobs would come or something if I stood on it or something, you know what I mean? But it doesn't seem to really do anything, and I'm not sure how to interact with it. Nor can you break it. It's, like, above Obsidian, so it must be pretty much unbreakable. I did have some chests here, but I did see a lot in here that uh, was very useful to us. I mean, I'll take any plates that we find, because uh, they're useful. It also has this uh, infected crystallized slime box on it, which is a little weird. <laughs> which is strange. I think we need these things later on for these things, maybe. Or maybe it's for these blocks here uh, to go through uh, some of that dark matter stuff. But it's on fire. It's it's a spaceship, I guess. It doesn't even really look spaceshipy, But it's uh, destroyed and hovering above the planet. So definitely a thing and uh, definitely really strange. But anyway, I keep looking for a d uh, dungeon too. And I've had to two of them that was marked on the map. And the first one was the, the mine shaft, and the second one didn't seem to have anything there. So I'm a little confused. I'm just going to kind of keep pushing forward, looking for a dungeon, and hopefully at some point it becomes nighttime too. Uh, that actually is slowly going down so we can see the other mobs that are on this planet. I just ran into one of the little alien miners. He's actually hanging out in this little hole here around the crash probes, which is kind of weird. If you get close to them, they shoot you <laughs> with little lasers. But uh, these are the guys that actually drop the alien minor parts. And I've actually already found one group of these, which is a little strange. I found one, actually, the last one. I'll get rid of him. He doesn't. Really, he isn't that important. But uh, they do drop those minor parts sometimes. He didn't drop any that time. I found one, like, laying down on one of these alien probes. And then I broke the alien probe, and he actually stood up. It was really strange. This planet is just all around weird. That is all I could say. And, uh, yeah, just uh, really odd. Everything's infected. We got alien robots, we got spaceships, and uh, we still got a boss fight, but uh, that hasn't gone down yet. That's still, this is like another 10 minutes later, and that's all the sun has actually gone down on this planet, so. Okay, I finally found the dungeon, and uh, I did run into the mobs, but uh, I didn't turn on the recording before I killed them. There was like weird little purple ones, and then we're actually already at the boss here, so let's kind of go through and do that. Everything's just infected on this planet. It's really strange, really bizarre. Um, do I want, let's just leave our bow on regular, not explosion. What are these here? Zillious eggs. Can I break that? What is that? Oh, what is this guy? Infected crystallized slime boss? I'm not hurting him. Um. He's not good. <laughs> I always want to reset these guys. What are those pillar things? There's so much weird stuff going on on this planet. I just want to move faster. Ugh, come here for a second. I want to grab this, grab our quiver, right? There we go. See if we can actually turn it. This guy is horrible. How would you do this in vanilla? There we go. Wait, how do you do this? Oh, you gotta blow up pillars. Oh, this boss is actually pretty neat. There's actually work you have to do. There you go, he had a shield on. Okay. Oh, whoa. What's going on now? I want that. There we go. Grab some screenshots. Oh, and then he turns into more of these guys. Uh, maybe I don't want this on now. Let's do that. There we go. We don't have to listen. Oh, my. <laughs> you got to fight a ton of these guys. This is actually pretty crazy. Oh, it's a good thing I got flight. Imagine being on the floor and fighting this, like, normally. Like, uh, without, uh, having a crazy weapon and stuff, this fight would have been pretty insane. Oh my goodness, there's so many. <laughs> oh, wow. Slime minions. Anyway, this is crazy. This planet has been so bizarre, just strange, you know what I mean? Like, this, uh, this mod adds a lot to a pack. It's just, how do you incorporate this into a regular modded pack? Like, <laughs> you have to have some kind of really weird progression set up. To have to come to the alien planet and do alien things with infected alien stuff, right? Really strange, really different, but interesting nonetheless. But there's so many of them. Anyway, we'll just go through, get all these guys kind of killed here. I don't know what they're dropping. I don't know if it's useful or not. Um, I don't know if we need what they're dropping because they seem to be all dropping this uh, weird slime stuff that we keep seeing. Oh, and I almost forgot the key. I completely forgot we had to get a key from this thing. So let's actually pick it up here. There we go. And at least we can see what's in our chest as well. Oh, can you bugger off? I thought I had all you guys gone. There's still more, man. There were so many of them. Anyway, what's in here? 
we found the tier five rocket, which we already have. So we didn't find anything that we needed, but that's fine. I wasn't really expecting that because we actually are on that tier now, right? That is the tier we were on. Yeah, we are. So we have this, we'll grab that, grab our reward. We've got Windows 8, which nobody wants ever. And then, yeah, well now we'll go back to Earth. I'll get everything sorted out. I got so much junk here that I don't need. Just need to get everything cleaned up. And then we'll head to Saturn. And okay, I went ahead and uh, headed to Saturn. So I'm on Saturn now. I've been here for a few minutes. Pretty strange. It almost like these, these must be planets, but they almost look like suns. That has to be the actual sun. Looks like there's several planets kind of going around it. You can't see the rings at all, which I thought was strange, but um, it's definitely a thing. And then you find these pools of liquid methane. There's also liquid glowstone. There was a machine to turn this stuff, I believe, back in the glowstone, which isn't something we need. But it's definitely something you could do if you were interested, which I thought was pretty cool. And um, I also found like liquid hydrocarbon, which was actually in the oceans, like under the oceans. I can't, don't know if you can see it right here. There's like other pockets of weird green stuff you see every once in a while. No, I'm not seeing it right here. Um, but I went down, but the problem is once you go in this water, like I'll show you, this, this is what you see. <laughs> so you have to kind of meddle around to be able to find it. And then, yeah, it was like liquid hyd hydrocarbon. So I'm not sure. I didn't see any use for that really at all either. I forget the material we're supposed to get from this planet. I think it might be um, mag manganese. Was that what it was? Manganese? Yeah, manganese. It gets, we have to get those. So I'll set up the builder in a bit. What I think I'm going to do. Oh, I want to show you this too. This is really odd. I didn't actually, I completely forgot. Uh, I found all these slime blocks. So you find these like, you know, you know, the slime blocks all over the place, which I thought was pretty strange. Then you break into them. And there's actually nuclear bombs inside them. Like, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> I thought it was pretty strange as well. We may have to uh, set one of those off and kind of see what happens. I just don't know where to do it. I don't have any way to kind of light on fire right now. So maybe when we get back to the base, we'll set up some, uh, set off some nukes and see how big the explosions are at least. Because, uh, yeah, I've already gotten like 30 of the things. But what I'm going to do is run around here probably, look for a dungeon. Once I actually find the dungeon, um, we'll go ahead and, uh, probably just get off this planet. I'm not expecting too many structures on this one, although we may find one. I don't really know. I just, 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 just want to just get off the planet, man. I'm just getting really tired of this jetpack, I have to say, but you can't really use any other jetpack that moves faster, right? Without, um, uh, without, um, taking radiation, like insane amounts of radiation. Anyway, I'm just going to keep uh, exploring. I'll be back in a bit, and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and fight the boss. So it appears we were actually right beside a dungeon, so here it is here. Saturn Gravel. I'm not expecting, I guess, anything too special in these things. I haven't really hit one of these uh, dungeons that had anything really interesting in the chest at all. So we'll just kind of rush through this one quickly. Uh, can you not do that? Yeah. Yeah, that happened. Anyway, our armor is so OP, honestly, and the fact that we're an android is pretty overpowered as well. That I'm not really even afraid of damage for the most part. Uh, one of these bosses might be able to hurt me, I guess, but for the most part, I don't even care about the spawners or anything like that. Just at the point where I just want to run through it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of you. We don't need you around. You around. You around. Let's get rid of you. Maybe that enderman as well. And that guy. There we go. Nothing behind us, let's head inside, and we're gonna involve gas. Is this really just a big gas? Is that, is that really a rat? <laughs> you just ran out of ideas. <laughs> yeah, I, I just give up. What I'm gonna do is just give you a gas with a whole lot of hit points. <laughs> Imagine killing him with the fire charges, it'll take a while. I mean, he does have a thousand hit points there. What's that? Oh, that's just um, flux. Anyway, not a big deal, we need to... Uh, Clear up some inventory space. Ooh, that created some lag. And a key. There we go. We got our key here. Maybe? Can I have a key? Have a gas here. Have a key. There we go. Tier 6 dungeon key. Hopefully this is the only one I have to do. If we get lucky and get our schematic, we don't have to do another one, right? We got tier 6 rocket. So that is actually awesome. Why didn't I get the... Oh, I need to get the actual egg at first. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and probably set up our builder. Go ahead and get us uh, some of the manganese that we need. Then we can go ahead and head back to the base. And then, yeah, just kind of go ahead and probably work on our next rocket and our next level of thermal padding, which is uh, pretty cool. This guy, like, doesn't care. I'm looking right at him. Oh, finally he cares. That was weird. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm back from Saturn. I'm actually just processing up all our manganese. So I'm kind of getting that going here. 
Uh, I had a good amount of it, got a good amount of about 700 or so from one go of the digital miner. I set it to, it was just getting iron and copper as well. So I set it to just do, um, just mine the actual uh, manganese ore because uh, that was the easiest way to do it. Found the uh, like 720 or so, which is pretty cool and uh, pretty awesome. I'm just gonna let this stuff process here. I did break down my rocket as well. This is what we got back. Kind of curious how many of these we were getting. Uh, we need, what is it? It's gonna be the tier six, right? The next level plate. I actually have it right here. There we go. It's only gonna take one of the tier five and a bunch of that. So that's actually not too bad. We can actually start that process as well, probably. Cause uh, yeah, it takes a lot of it, but uh, not a ridiculous amount. Uh, let's go ahead and hope we have enough of these plates. I may have to make some more heavy duties. I think I have some more actually, where are they at? Let's go here. Yeah, I made some extras, right? So that might be enough, we'll see. I haven't really counted, but I'm gonna go ahead and start the process anyway while we do something else. So I could just do that, 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 and this, right? It's this, right? No, it's this. There we go. That'll start making us plates, that's cool. And if I need to make more of the tier fives again, I mean, it's not a big deal. I want to go and fool around two things, though. I want to fool around with this. This is going to be a nuclear bomb. So we're going to do that while it's processing. And uh, I also have this here. It's like the T-Rex egg. So we're going to kind of try that out. T-Rex is from the uh, mod there, Laser Creeper Robot Dino Riders from Space. Yes, that's a mouthful. Not too hard to make. You just kill the T-Rex mobs. And uh, every once in a while, they drop these. And you combine it with an egg. And then, bam, you actually get the egg. And then you're going to need some redstone as well as well as this, the T-Rex uh, control module. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put this down. I think it takes a couple seconds for this to hatch. And then we gotta feed the buddy. <laughs> but anyway, we'll put the egg down. Yeah, you have to smelt this egg too. I kind of forgot about that step, but I did have to smelt it. But I've been fighting those guys. I mean, it's not a big deal. I had a good amount of those things. Sometimes they just seem to come in swarms, especially those flying spiders, man. They just come in these like, like they're flying in, in order, like three spiders at a time. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Making a little hammer sound here. There we go. Got ourselves a T-Rex and look how giant he is. Well, he is really small, but he hasn't been fed yet. So you just kind of right click on him. And I believe it takes a full stack of these to get him to uh, max size. And every time we use it, he's getting two health as well. I don't think you can ride him until he's full size. So let's try to get him full size here. Is he full size? There we go, made a new sound there. There we go, cool. So he's full size now. He's actually really quick. You can see that he moves around pretty sporadically. Trying to get a hold of him. There you go. Got our seed on him now. And uh, he's effectively ours. I don't think he'll despawn now, but I'm not 100%. But if I lose him, it's not a big deal. I just really want to try him out. Oh, he can't actually open up the door. Let's try that out. Uh, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do this here. There we go. Let's see if we can hunt him down. Oh, he just ran at me insanely. He doesn't have any attacks himself, I don't think. Uh, when you're riding him anyway, like I wish he had a biting attack or something, but there's nothing like that as far as I know uh, But he can kill mobs. So uh, if you're not riding him, he'll actually attack them just like when a regular T-Rex You know you run into them and they attack you so pretty cool just a pretty neat little thing here I think thought it was pretty nifty. We've got some mobs over there. Will he actually go attack them? <laughs> Where are you going? What, what are you doing buddy? I want you to attack the mobs. Why is he going that way? He's like all confused and stuff. I want to see him fight these uh, laser, creeper, laser creepers. Attack. Um. Rex? <laughs> these guys, man. These flying guys are crazy. Um. I don't know where he's going or why he's going there, but apparently he won't fight for me. I thought you fought for me. I swear I've had one of these guys before and he attacks stuff. Maybe he's just being derpy. Maybe I'll have to relog or something. Or maybe it's, uh, he doesn't recognize these mobs because they're not vanilla. Maybe he's, like, uh, programmed to attack vanilla mobs. That is weird. Anyway, let's, uh, let's grab him. He's still cool anyway. I mean, he's epic. I mean, we're riding a dinosaur to a spacesuit. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. Like, we're looking down his gullet right now. He's a pretty cool little guy. I'm gonna take him back to the base right now, and then we're gonna probably go try some of those nukes, because <laughs> that just sounds like fun. He also has a uh, step assist, which is uh, really helpful. But anyway, let's toss you in here. Sweet, let's go ahead and pop that back down so you can't get out. And, uh, you're my pet now, so let's keep you, keep you. Although I don't know where I'm gonna keep him. He's awful big, I'll figure something out. Uh, you can also heal him too with redstone if he does get hurt. 
Anyway, let's grab some nuclear bombs and uh, some levers. And let's head to a city, because where else do you uh, set off nuclear bombs, right? <laughs> let's go get that done. I want to see how big the explosion is. We may actually uh, set up a little chain explosion. I'm going to do one, then we may do a big batch. I'm just curious how big the explosion is. Hopefully it's uh, worth my time. I <laughs> guess we'll see here in a second. Let's head over here. Let's uh, let's set one off inside a building. Right? Let's let's start with like that, right? Let's let's be let's be the scourge of the scientists. The scientists took over, and now we're going to deal with the scientists the only way we know how. So let's do that. There we go. Now see how big of explosion this is. I doubt it's anything massive. That's actually respectable. <laughs> That's actually quite respectable. Look at that, man. That's a big crater for a building. That's actually awesome. Now I want to chain these, so let's go ahead and just set up a crazy chain, right? So do something fun here. Just uh, make a little bit of a, some craters, a little bit of uh, chaos. Why not, right? Be a good time. Uh, where else should I go? Where else do I want to check this chain? Let's take the chain this way, man. We got a good amount of these. I mean, we got about uh, yeah another 34. You found a ton of them. You can get tons of these things. I've seen them in packs before, but I've never thought of actually using them, right? So anyway, looks fun to me. Uh, we don't have a lot of buildings in this one, do we? I'd like to blow up more buildings. There we go. <laughs> I think the explosions will spread far enough to actually set these off. So hopefully this does the thing. This particular building is probably going to get deleted. But uh, we'll see how that works out for us. <laughs> there we go. Set up some crazy chain. I'm probably going to make a good amount of lag here as well. But uh, I'm okay with that. Anyway, let's set off the last couple. We'll just extend the chain this way, I guess. Just uh, go this way. Just blowing things up across the countryside. I don't know how far apart they can be and still ignite each other is the only thing, right? Let's do you. Yeah, that's good. So let's go ahead and set off the lever. Let's uh, get away from this guy and see what happens here. Oh, wow. The explode? Oh, that's lag. <laughs> wow. That's actually pretty impressive. Oh, that building's gone. Oh, wow. You can do a lot of damage with these things. Imagine sending one of those off in your friend's base. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Why isn't the rain hurt? Oh, yeah, the rain doesn't hurt me anymore. See, I have it so drilled in my head from earlier in the pack. If I was out in the rain, I was instantly dead. Because <laughs> usually I wasn't usually near a town, right? But uh, we can actually go in the rain, no problem. But anyway, that's the TNT. I guess the uh, the, nuke the nukes, I guess. And, uh, those are pretty fun. And uh, yeah, we're going to kind of progress here. So let's get rid of the spider. Okay, I think I have just about everything we need for our rocket now, so I'm just kind of getting everything processed here. I just need a whole bunch of these plates here, the manganese ones, so we get that done. And uh, I got the rest of the heavy duties that we needed, which is awesome. And uh, we're looking pretty good. Oh, no, I need more of those. I need 10 at least, I think. I need to make the boosters first, and I think I need another four. But anyway, we'll get that done. I'm just kind of mathing. I do need to make these now, and I should be able to do it. What am I missing on the side there? Uh, manganese. I don't have enough of the manganese plates, so let's actually do that. Might as well grab a second set as well. Then we can just get this crafted up here. The rockets are just kind of, it's kind of like the same thing every time. I know I've probably said this already, but uh, yeah, it just, uh, they feel repetitive. And I can see why a lot of people don't like doing them, but it's not that big a deal, really. It's just a matter of just uh, crafting kind of, you know, the same stuff over and over and over. Anyway, that looks good there. Oh, I didn't make the engine. We still need to make the engine, man. We got uh, all these parts. I needed way more plates than I thought I did. But now I overcompensated, and now we have too many. <laughs> Which is fine, because we'll need it for the next level. The next level always requires more of those plates, right? So it's a thing. Let me grab you, maybe a button. And uh, for some reason, to start an engine, you always need a flint of steel. That's very important. And uh, that looks good. Let's actually go back, see if we can actually get our engine. That looks good as well. And that looks like it. I think we're good. Let's go see if we can actually build this thing. So let's head, not up there. When I jump down, I jump so high, it's actually ridiculous. But anyway, let's go to the end. End, there we go. Awesome, let's go ahead and throw in the new uh, recipe for the new rocket. Let's see if we can hunt that down. There's the tier six. Go ahead and see if we can get everything in there. There's our nose cone. And boom, we got a tier six rocket, which is uh, pretty awesome. Why did I not get a quest though? Tier six rocket, it's right here. That is weird. Why is this saying I have to visit here? I don't understand why I didn't get this. I just did this, right? I just made a tier six rocket. That is strange. 
but I did this one, right? Yeah, complete NASA workbench schematic. I had that in my inventory. It says I didn't do this. Wait a second. Doesn't confuse item will auto detect. I'm a little confused here. Um, why didn't I accept this quest? This quest should be done. I need to get my research papers. I may go ahead and uh, go creative, give myself a research paper in a second. Cause that's a little strange. Cause it's not required for this one at all. Required by emergency papers, tier six, tier five. Requires tier five rocket, we have that. And visit planet Saturn. Visit planet Saturn. It's done, right? I am confused. So why wouldn't it have not given me this quest here? That is strange. I'm gonna grab that reward as well. Not really sure what happened there. Huh, let's go to here. Let's go to game mode one. Nope, I gotta open the land, right? Do that, allow cheat, start, game mode one. Let's see if we can hunt that down. So it would be schematic, right? We had this one, I just put it in there, right? Tier six. Is it because I didn't accept the previous quest? Because I hadn't accepted them yet? Usually you don't have to accept a quest as long as it's completed, it automatically completes it. That's actually strange because, I mean, I just picked it up and put it in here. <laughs> that is really weird. Either way, we have our um, quest now. So it's finished. I have no idea. Hopefully, yeah, if you know, if that happens to you, you know what happened, right? You know how to fix it really quick because that is really strange. I did everything, I think, properly. I'll have to rewatch the video, but I think I did things right. I think. <laughs> Either way, I was going to go back and grab another uh, tier 6 rocket. Anyway, I'll just toss that one and let it kind of despawn. And okay, we might as well get this rocket in the place. And uh, there we go. That is the new one. It actually has uh, four engine parts now, which is uh, pretty cool. Looking more and more like a rocket all the time. And uh, it doesn't look too bad. It actually looks pretty sweet. Uh, last thing we need to do here is actually upgrade our thermal armor. So we'll go ahead and do that really quick. And then, yeah, we'll be uh, pretty much done here on this little tier. So... Go ahead and grab you. I think it was just manganese plates to upgrade this. If I go to, I guess, use, I need to go here. Let's do that. There we go. Yeah, it's just uh, compressed manganese. There we go. Probably, no, I do have enough. I have 16 on me, so we're good. So I would just uh, kind of toss that there. Go ahead and toss you there. Make the next levels really quickly. And uh, we'll get uh, four more quests done just like that. I don't know why there's a separate quest for each part. But, uh, there is. <laughs> anyway, we'll do that there. Toss that on, and uh, we got our next level of thermal production, so that is pretty awesome and uh, pretty cool. But uh, we go ahead and grab our research papers. So let's grab them. We've got a bunch of research papers to do now. Another seven. Why did it give me this one? Saturn, Rhea, Nibiru? I already had these. I'm so confused, because I already had them? That is really strange. How did I get those again? I am so confused as to what happened. This was this one here, wasn't it? Rhea, Titan, Chalos. Yeah, I had that one. And then where did I get a second batch? Oh, research papers here. Saturn, Rhea, and Titan. <laughs> Saturn, Rhea, Titan, and Chalos. That is weird. That is a messed up quest line right there. That entire quest line just doesn't make any sense. And we get another rare reward. And we got another legendary Illuminati pet. I wonder how broken this is. So this pet is actually insane. Spawn random item, true invisibility, two minute cooldown. Takes emerald nuggets, but it used to be able to spawn any item in the game. I don't know if it still can. <laughs> so it has a chance, like in theory, you know, out of how many items are in the pack, it would have a chance of, you know, give me a tier 10 electric rocket, <laughs> which is utterly crazy. But uh, yeah, I'll have to fool around with that and kind of see what kind of stuff we get. Cause at this point, I don't really care about breaking the pack at all. It's really more about uh, visiting the planets and stuff and trying out a few mods. So yeah, span right of random item, right click. We just got an upgraded geothermal generator. <laughs> that is awesome. I love the music that goes with it too. But anyway, that is cool. Get uh, one more quest done. Oh, I didn't notice I had this one as well. I just got a meta pet. This meta pet, I believe too, when you use it, turns into a random pet, right? Yes, meta score random. So you just use it. There you go. And now we got a sponge pet. Place water, absorb water, walk on water, and sink on water. So this one's much more interesting. But, uh, can I do that again? Oh, it has a cooldown. But I'll throw around with that some more. Kind of, you know, mess with that. See what kind of stuff we get. I mean, we just got a generator for free, which is uh, kind of funny. But anyway, I think I'm actually going to 
uh, maybe yeah go ahead and wrap this video up here so as always guys like this video please hit that like button really liked it hit that subscribe button it is always appreciated when well, you guys have a good one see you guys next video later